In this video I'm going to reveal the secret recipe of Mark Roma's Devil's Elephant's Toothpaste. In one of his videos Mark Roma showed this absolutely spectacular elephant's toothpaste experiment but bleeped out the recipe. You start with 2016 Once that mixes you're going to Oprah Winfrey torch on the leftover rabbit fur and you're good to go. It has nothing to do with Oprah Winfrey or rabbit's fur by the way. Now brainstorming possible recipes I could only come up with two options. Option one, he used a more powerful catalyst that I couldn't think of. Or option two, he used a higher concentration of hydrogen peroxide. From the beginning on I was pretty much convinced it was the second option because in his video the catalyst solution looked the same for all experiments. Also, if you go on the Wikipedia article of Elephant's Toothpaste, you can immediately see that the reaction becomes faster the higher the concentration of hydrogen peroxide. So from that point on, it was only a matter of finding out what concentration Mark Rowe used for his devil's toothpaste. That brings us to the more difficult part, because from here on out I have to do experiments to figure out the exact concentration. To make matters worse, hydrogen peroxide is a highly restricted chemical, because you can easily make explosives with it. But luckily, after I explained exactly what I planned on doing, one company actually sold me 25 liters of 35% hydrogen peroxide. This is however the concentration with which you can only make regular elephant's toothpaste. So in order to get higher concentrated hydrogen peroxide, I had to make it myself, which is actually relatively easy, but expensive and time consuming. But in order to reproduce Microba's small scale experiments, I need pretty large amounts. To get this video done in a reasonable amount of time, I first tested several concentrations on a half liter scale. As you can see, exactly as stated on Wikipedia, the higher the concentration of hydrogen peroxide, the faster the reaction goes. At a concentration of 60% hydrogen peroxide, the reaction becomes so fast and hot that the foam is no longer stable and starts to fly away. So at that point I knew that I went too far, but only when you go too far you know how far you can go. Using half the amount of catalyst solution produced no effect and it was still just as crazy. After that and comparing the video footage, I was pretty much convinced that the secret to Mark Rober's Devil's Toothpaste was 50% concentrated hydrogen peroxide. In order to confirm that I repeated the experiment on the same scale that Mark Rober did it. So, let's mix up the secret devil's toothpaste recipe. We'll start with 5 liters of 50% hydrogen peroxide. To that we're going to add 2 grams of blue food coloring. And 350 milliliters of dish soap. Now let's mix it up nicely. Now to activate it, I will add 600 grams of 50% potassium iodide solution. I know my potassium iodide solution is clear and my Crova once was a little bit of yellow brownish. That's because when you let the solution stand in air for a while, it turns to the color of iodine because of oxidation. Okay, three, two, one, go. Uh oh, please don't fly away, please come back. Now you know the secret behind Mark Rober's Devil's Elephant's Toothpaste. I'm not sure that helps because 50% hydrogen peroxide is not exactly easy to get. The original video has 40 million views and yet nobody has managed to repeat the experiment on video even though it was relatively easy to figure out the recipe. For comparison all the videos I uploaded on this channel have 15,000 views combined which is basically nothing in comparison. But please don't try to repeat this on your own because 50% hydrogen peroxide is very nasty stuff and YouTube will probably ban me if I show you how to make it. Obviously, I have no way of proving that this is exactly the same mixture that Microba used, but it certainly produces the same effect. 
Now I would love to break the world record for the devil's elephant toothpaste, but for that I would have to find a sponsor first. So that is something that I might do in a future video. I can only hope now that Mark Rover is not going to be mad at me for revealing the secret recipe, because then my life might as well be over. If you want to see more amazing science experiments like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. Make sure to leave a like and a comment to tell me what you think. Thanks a lot for watching.